Hi YouTube, it's Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today I have a what's in my bag for you. You'll notice behind me I've got a bunch of Neverfulls and <clears throat> a few other bags. That's because right after I film this I'm going to do my entire Louis Vuitton collection. Um, I'm filming this right at the beginning of January of 2018. I figured that would be a good time to uh, like the start of every new year film one of those entire collection videos and I thought before I did that let's see what I have in the bag that I've been carrying for the last month which is my Speedy 30. It's not a bandolier I have this shoulder strap on it from my Trevi GM um, so let's go ahead and see. So outside here I've got a couple things I've got my Christmas animation bag charm with the penguins it's blue on the back <clears throat> and then I have this little polar bear, which I just got at Target. It was on clearance for $3. They also had a little bird that I got as well. So that is what's on the outside of my bag. Oh, and my Eben luggage tag. This is the small size with the AB stamped on it in gold. So that's what's on the outside. Let's see what's inside. I usually keep this very organized and cleaned out pretty regularly, and I usually switch bags every few days, if not more often than that. But this bag I've been carrying every day for the entire month of December because I wanted to carry my penguin bag charm in December. I feel like it's a wintry piece with the penguins. So I've got a lot of stuff in here that I don't normally have. Um, and we also went out of town for a week, so there are probably some things from that and some things from Christmas. So I'm just going to reach in and grab stuff and show you what I've got in here. This is something I have started carrying regularly. It's a Ted Baker pencil case. And when I ordered this, I thought it was gold, but it's actually more of a rose gold, and it has rose gold hardware. Uh, and I have been really happy with this so far. <clears throat> so I have a lot of pens and pencils and ink and all kinds of things in here. Let me take out a few of the big things so you can see what else I've got. Whoops. Um, and this is all stuff I use for my planners or for drawing because I'm an artist and it's nice to have this stuff with me. I was looking at a Louis Vuitton pencil case and that was cute but it was $420 and I got this one on sale for like 30 bucks or 35 or something like that. And I've been very happy with it so far. So that's Item one, um, I also have this. I just got this over Christmas when we were in San Angelo with my sister and her husband. I picked this up at Michael's. It was about eight bucks, it says Hello Sunshine, and it's a little sunglasses case. And inside there I have some sunglasses that I picked up in San Angelo at a store called Jesse Rose. And this is San Angelo, Texas. So there are my sunglasses take those off. I have a Louis Vuitton sunglass case. I'll pull that out next to show you. But I keep my reading glasses in that, so I needed a case for sunglasses too. Um, so let me pull out the Louis Vuitton sunglasses case. I love this. This is one of my favorite pieces. I love the little snap. I love the curve on there. I have a video on this, so if you want to know more about it, um, you can watch that video. I've got my readers in here and then it's lined with microfiber. <clears throat> Very nice piece, beautiful, elegant, and easy. Okay, my Sarah wallet and in the back in the slip pocket is where I put receipts for when I'm shopping. I have a ton of receipts on my desk so I know I pulled some out recently. And then I also keep coupons in here like this one from Michaels which I need to use this week because it's about to expire. And then in my Sarah wallet, I have all my cards. I have in the little slip pocket in the front, I have leftover stamps from mailing Christmas cards and more cards. I don't usually keep things in these two big pockets. Every once in a while I do. In the back is where I keep my cash. I just have a $1 bill in there right now. That's how I roll, guys. And then in the zip pocket, I recently took my coins out and put those somewhere else um, which I'll show you <clears throat> but then I have some gift cards that I got for Christmas too so I keep those secured in the zipper all right what's next my beret because it's been cold where we've been we've been in San Angelo and Austin 
and now it's cold in Houston too. I just checked and it was 35 degrees, so my beret. And I have some gloves in here too. There's one. Okay, these are my favorite gloves. I bought these in New York a while back at Marshall's and or TJ Maxx or Ross or one of those places. Probably paid about $50 for them, 40 or 50. They're leather on the outside, but they're lined in cashmere. So if you need some really warm gloves, these are what I wore when I lived in New York. <clears throat> and I love them. I have my mini pochette that I got for my birthday this last year in October. And inside there, I've got a few things that I don't normally have in here. So I have what I, what I did plan to use this for was putting my keys in. So I've got my keys and my work ID. And then I have these, which I need to take out. These are some extra car fobs that we found. And I tried those on my car and they didn't work. So um, just dropped something on the floor. But uh, I think they were for an old car that I had. And then my, um, what's that called? What's that called? Hand sanitizer, which does not belong in that piece. I usually keep that in my toiletry because that's a wipeable interior. So here is my little toiletry 15. I love this piece too. I've got that packed with a bunch of things. Oh, I have one of these. Okay, so the, the one that I had, the extra one was from my boyfriend's car and I thought it was mine and I took it from him. So I'll have to give it back now. So in here I have feminine products and then I also have a pack of tissues which I definitely needed last week because I was sick all week. I feel like I missed Christmas because I was sick the whole time. I've got this little thing which is a spray for cleaning eyeglasses. I have my hand sanitizer. I have this little Carmex lip balm. I have... <coughs> a little um, Swiss Army knife and some band-aids and some wet wipes and that is all okay and then the next piece I'm gonna pull out here is my pochette accessoire which is obviously overstuffed at the moment and this is the limited edition Stephen Sprouse version which I love 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 and I think when I did the video on this, I talked about keeping it in my bag for organization and how I was kind of worried about chipping on the, on the green part, um, the screen printing. And I haven't had any trouble with that so far. It still looks just like it did when I got it, which is like brand new, except for the aging of the Vachetta, the coloring of it. Um, but I still think that I need to get a regular one that's just the LV and doesn't have any screen printing so that I don't ever have that problem with this. I think I need to kind of put this away and <clears throat> only use it once in a while because it's a special piece. But I've got a ton of stuff in it right now, so let's see what I have in here. This first, I got this in my Christmas stocking from the boyfriend. Apparently he went shopping at the car wash for a few um, stocking stuffers. And it's the new car scent, and my reaction to this when I pulled it out of my stocking was, does this mean I'm not getting a new car? And I didn't expect a new car. Um, I have this, which I got from Henry Bendel, my 2018 little calendar planner thing. And give it a second for you to see the pages. It has the gold gilding on the edges. It has this little ribbon bookmark and whatever just fell out of it <clears throat> very cute got that on sale at henry bendel i have uh, this little tin that i also got on sale this is from bloomingdale's i ordered that from online and they're basically like altoids i wish it was a smaller tin this thing is really big and it's heavy and i'm i've been hesitant to keep it in my purse because of that but it's nice to have mints in there maybe i'll put some in a smaller container um, this is my little pill box that I keep essentials in. I have a little hair tie. I have <clears throat> giant nail clippers. I much prefer the giant ones to the regular size ones. I have this EOS lip balm, which is a coconut scented one. It's the first one I've ever had. I got this from my sister, and I think it was also in my stocking. So that's really cute. I, I like that scent a lot. 
I have a couple of notebooks. I have this little one that I'm almost done with, and then I have this one that I also use. And what I was thinking is I would get rid of those two and just replace it with this and use this for all my note taking for the year. Um, I don't really need a calendar in my purse, but I thought it could be a nice notebook and it's cute. Oh, and it has these little New York City maps in the back, um, like street maps and I don't know if it has subway maps. Yeah, it does. Subway maps too. So that's cute. And then the front and back end sheets look like that. It's a really cute little notebook and I think you can get those for about $30 right now. Oh, I have a gift card in here that I forgot about. This is from one of my students. It's a $25 um, gift card to Amazon. So I need to put that in my wallet with my other gift cards. <clears throat> Here's some Tylenol that I got in San Angelo because I was sick and I didn't have my meds on me or I ran out of them or something. So stopped and got a little emergency pack at a gas station. That's all they had. Another hair tie. This is my little ruler that you see me using in the videos. I've started keeping it in my bag because I find that I need it when I'm out for various things. And then I have a bunch of pens. Why aren't these in my Ted Baker thing? Um, I have my Tied to Go pen, which has saved me several times. I have this pen that I don't usually carry. This is one that I got off Amazon, and I think I've included these in my pen review video that I did. But this one has the little stylus, which is why I have it in here right now, although I don't need it because I have this thing that is just a stylus. It's not a pen at all, it just has the stylus. And I got that at the airport in Rome when we were there. And then this is my one Pen Gems pen that I do usually keep in my bag. And the Pen Gems have the little crystal on the top. Very cute. And then I also have <clears throat> this little bag charm, or not bag charm, bag holder that I got from, got it a while back, from Charming Charlie. And I have this little thing of sticky notes that I was using a long time ago for my planner that I do YouTube stuff in and um, just never took it out. And then there is a little paper clip in here that's shaped like a dachshund. I'm not sure why that's in there or how it got in there, but it's there. All right, that is empty now. Let's see what else is in this black hole of a bag. Okay, there is this little microfiber cloth for cleaning my glasses. This is supposed to be in my toiletry 15, so I'll have to put it back in there. Another hair tie. These things, I just take them out and throw them in my purse all the time. This little Henry Bendel dust bag has my camera in it. Uh, my little pocket camera, the Canon G9X, which I've been very happy with. And one of the things that I want to do, one of my New Year's resolutions, is to take a photograph every day. And, you know, that's easy to do on your phone, but I want to take a good photograph, like a thoughtful photograph every day. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, so that camera will help with that. I have my Louis Vuitton Agenda PM in the red Verney. It's the Pommes d'Amour color. Probably not pronouncing that correctly because I don't know French, but if you open it up, I have it in use right now as kind of a wallet. I was trying it out as a wallet or a card holder at least. I got this clip uh, from a seller on Etsy. I'll link that below because I don't remember the name exactly. I made my dashboards and by the way, if you have a planner and you make your own dashboards, you might want to do what I did here and get a piece of acetate, whether it has a design on it or not, to put over your dashboard. It helps keep it protected from whatever you might have on the front. Um, and then I have in here some note paper because I thought maybe I could just use this as a notebook and maybe I still will because that Henry Bendel one is a little bulky. And then I have the Filofax card holders, the little plastic ones with a bunch of store cards, uh, like rewards cards and my insurance information. And that's it. The back pocket is empty. I could keep my passport in there, but that's not something I want to carry around all the time. This little pen does not fit in that pen holder. I just have the, um, like the clip on the side of it clipped into it. <clears throat> I do not have a pen that would fit there. 
Um, I haven't really cared about that. So I'm getting close to being done. This is my denim clay Louis Vuitton, and this is where I have my coins right now. So there you go. And if you watched the unboxing of this, um, you saw that when I got it pre-loved, it had a bunch of dirt inside from coins and that just cleans out really easily with a baby wipe. So I'm not worried about that getting dirty. I have been looking for this, my Fitbit Alta. I need to start wearing this again. Yay, I found it. I've really been wondering where that was. Okay, my Louis Vuitton key clay and monogram. Apparently there's a bunch of hair in my bag too. So monogram clay, what do I have in here? My business cards. So these are for my photography business. Um, most of which I just do volunteer work. So that's my dog Sebastian wearing a tie. And I won't show you the back because it has personal contact info on it. Er, goes back down in there. And then I have one, nope, another hair tie. I have this clay and I think that is everything. Okay, so my clay and Damier Eben. The only clay I don't have in this size is the azure and I'm not sure that I really want that one because I only have one azure bag. <clears throat> um, so in this I keep um, a key, a spare key to my car and then the key to the boyfriend's car, the key fob for that. And that is it. That is what's in my bag. It appears to be empty. There you go. So, um, yay, now I can organize this and get it back to normal. And I'm gonna be switching out of this bag soon because I've been carrying it every day for the entire month of December and it is time for a new bag. I really love this thing though. This is, the Speedy 30 for me is like the perfect bag. Um, I really don't feel much of a need to switch out of it, but I wanna, go through my rotation and use some other bags. <clears throat> Otherwise, why do I have them? All right, that's it for this video. Um, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you would like to see more. Click the like video if you liked it and click the little bell notification icon if you would like to be notified when I post a new video because YouTube does not always tell you. I hope you guys have a great new year and I will see you soon, bye.